The Shawshank Redemption is a movie that both asks and answers a lot of questions. One comes from the title itself. What does the Shawshank Redemption even mean? Who or what is redeemed? The obvious first guess would be Andy, our protagonist, but there's something not quite right about that. He enters prison wrongly convicted, he starts out the story as a morally sound individual, and ends it in the same way. It could be argued that the title refers to the redemption of the prison itself, the Shawshank Redemption is the redemption of Shawshank, how Andy's work was able to turn a place of torture and violence into one of learning and self-improvement. It could be the redemption of Red, someone who comes to accept his flaws and moves on to live a fulfilling life. I look back on the way I was then, a young, stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. But I think the Shawshank Redemption embodies all of these ideas. It's about bringing light into a place of darkness, and having good defeat evil. Before Andy arrived in Shawshank, it was a place of conformity. The prisoners would go about the same cycle day in, day out. Nothing would ever change. As each day passes, the prisoners gave up their individuality. We learn that Red stopped playing the harmonica, cycles formed, and the prison walls that enslaved them became normal. Enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. That's institutionalized. One major idea found throughout the entire movie is the passing of time. How over the course of the movie, days, months, and sometimes even years slip by without us, the audience, realizing so. It only took six years. Time means nothing when nothing is being achieved. The guards and the warden Norton try to strip the humanity away from the prisoners. Take away everything they knew from the outside and apply a new set of rules. But you trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. The warden cares more about appearances than anything else. To him, as long as everything looks like it is on the up and up, it is. He's more than willing to break rules, as long as nobody knows. This is why he has Andy change the numbers, why he misuses religion. He only takes what he wants from the Bible, to use his justification for his horrendous deeds. I'm the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John chapter 8 verse 12. When in all reality, he is missing the point that it makes. The prisoners behave very much like Albert Camus' absurd hero, Merceau, in his novel The Stranger after he is jailed. Absurdism focuses on the conflict of humans to search for a meaning in life and their inability to find one. In its simplest form, absurdism states that the only way to live a substantial life is to stop trying to find a purpose and to just exist. Instead of trying to prepare its inmates for life outside of bars and walls, Shawshank does the exact opposite. It keeps its prisoners in an endless loop of violence, rule breaking, and deceit. By the time Brooks is ready to enter or re-enter the real world, he is unable to. The prison stripped him of his individuality, and left him a shell of his former self. It's very apparent that he is a good man who simply did bad in his youth. And we see this with his love towards Jake and his compassion towards the other prisoners. The only time he is violent is when he is forced to confront the idea of leaving. And when he does leave, he is no fit for the real world. Make sure your man double bags. Last time he didn't double bag and the bottom near came out. Make sure you double bag like the lady says, understand? Yes, sir. When Andy arrives at Shawshank, he starts to make a serious change for the best. He turns the prison into a place of self-betterment. He teaches people how to read and write, he opens up a library, and does as much good as he can. This cuts to the roots of the film's message. No matter how bad your life is, no matter how trapped you feel, there's a way out. Through hard work, anyone can make their lives better. All you need is to do something positive. It's in here. In, in here. That's the beauty of music, they can't get that from you. And through his hard work, Andy's able to make the lives of the other prisoners better. He finds the beauty in a place where there should be none, and manages to bring it into everybody's life. He does this on the roof. We sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. And later through music. It was like some beautiful bird flapped into our drab little cage and made those walls dissolve away. And in both cases, he punishes himself for the betterment of others. And although he may have to spend some time in the hole or helping with Hadley's taxes, the good that he brings to others is more important than the bad that comes to him. 
However, at the start of the film, Andy isn't all good, and over the course of the film, he's able to redeem himself. When he entered Shawshank, he may not have been guilty of murder, but that doesn't mean he is the perfect person. He blames himself for his marriage falling apart. I killed her, Red. I didn't pull the trigger. I drove her away. He's a natural liar and helps out with the warden's plans to scam the system. The prison is a place of evil, and he quickly learns that if he is going to achieve anything good, it also means that he is going to have to do bad. Throughout the film, we watch him find freedom through beauty, but he finds his ultimate freedom through immorality. You know, the funny thing is, on the outside, I was an honest man, straight as an arrow. I had to come to prison to be a crook. He is willing to break the rules and do bad for the betterment of others, and in the end, is able to use his bad acts to expose true evil. While in prison, Andy, the innocent man, breaks the rules to escape, while the guilty man, Red, follows the rules to achieve his freedom. And after all is said and done, both men end up in the same place on the same beach. Shawshank Prison stripped their sociality away from them, and left them as outcasts from the real world. After Red was released from prison, he started to go down the same route that Brooks did, unable to survive in the real world. But again, Andy was able to bring the positive change to Red's life. Unlike the warden, Andy doesn't care about how others perceive you. He cares about the quality of the individual. Andy taught Red to stop trying to be what others expect you to be. That leads to one thing. Instead, he should be honest, be himself, and only through that can he find freedom. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed. The Shawshank Redemption is one of those movies that offers so much to discuss, and I'm glad that I could finally get around to sharing my thoughts on it. There's so much to love about this movie, and it's always so much fun to rewatch and revisit and just read about. So please let me know what you think about the movie. I really am interested. I'd assume it's positive, but I guess you can never be too sure. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There won't be a new video next week. I'm working on a really big video that I'm excited to bring to you soon. But if you are interested, I put a link to my last video on film noir in the American dream. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.